I've been here for four years now, but every year I used to go home for holiday. Okay. So this year I was supposed to go in December, but with the situation, I can't manage. I have to go home as soon as possible. Because my parents, they're worried about me. They saw everything on TV, how people are suffering. They saw everything, so they say, ah, it's better you must come. Yeah, it's better to have peace of mind than to have money. When I, I got to South Africa, before it was a good country, but uh, what happened in 2008, there was a xenophobia. They told us to go back in our community and uh, we agreed with them. We went back to the community. Now it happened again. We cannot wait until they will happen th uh, three times. They say the people of South Africa, they don't need the foreigners. And they give us papers and documents writing uh, is right on that uh, we we are able to work and to study now they are chasing us from their work we are no longer working nothing you can do in this country i'm from burundi i came to south africa because in burundi they kill all of my family i'm with my mother here with my small sisters we came in South Africa because in our country there was fighting. Even now, as I'm talking to the still level, people are, are still dying. I came here because I think maybe South Africa is going to be the nice country for me to live, to have peace and security. But it's not the, what I was thinking. I came here and they, they're chasing me. I don't know now what, what to do. I don't know where to go. South Africa is a nice country. The liberty is better because at least you can have a job, can have something to eat, can support your family. But the people we are living with in South Africa, they don't like us. They don't worry about us. The way they kill our friends, so bad. You know, in our country, we don't know how what war is. There was no war before. I was around with uh, my friend from Zimbabwe, and when we was turning back home, and then two guys. They attack us, and then one one catch me and took it my phone, and one took battery and hitting down. When he hitting down, he scratching himself, and then came and poking me to, in my face. They said that I must go back to my country. And <laughs> They said that I must go back to my country and in my country they, they fight things. Yeah, well, and they chase me out. They even chase me in school. Everywhere I go, they're chasing me. Now we don't know where to go. 